Welcome back coding fans. We are over here at World Creation and as you can see we're going to build something fun today. Um, I call this football stadium. Um, it's like there's going to be a game. We're going to build off of this for our next uh, lesson as well. Um, so there is a lot of code for this and I've got some source code that we can use and for my students the source code will be in Canvas. Um, if you want to play along at home and you're on YouTube as opposed to Canvas, I'm going to try and post the source code in the description below. Um, but let's go ahead and reset the page and go and get our source code. Um, and so our source code is going to be here in Canvas, or like I said, hopefully it will go in the description below. Um, and we're going to go to Stadium here. Here's what we have. All right, as you can see, it's this video coming soon. Obviously, that's the video that's going to be here for my students. Um, but we want to copy and paste the code below into World Creation uh, to get started. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the code here. We want from let <clears throat> all coordinates equal world dot all possible coordinates. And we're going to take this down and we're going to get all of our source code. All right. Um, and when we paste this in, depending on the way your iPad or computer is set up, you're going to might get some extra spaces in there. So I have all of my stuff from uh, lit all coordinates to my hopper team stuff. I'm going to hit copy. We're going to come back. We're going to paste this into world creation and we'll run it. So paste it. You'll see now we've got uh, a lot of spaces in here. We'll run our code and see what happens. All right, while it's running, I'll go ahead and do some explanation. Um, here is our stadium code. So here's our variables for heights. Um, so it goes three, two, one, zero, 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 zero for six of them. And then one, two, three. This is a 12 by 12. Um, so I have 12 integers as my heights uh, so that it will be a uniform stadium. All right. And then, so that's that. Uh, we come down here. Here's my crowd for blues, which just got pasted there. So those are all of my blues. Um, you'll know that it's blues facing east. At coordinate and we're going to do that for a cloud of crowd for hopper here's our front goal which is this right here um, this is row zero and my uprights there and then code for back goal, and then code for my blue team players all right and what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of augment this um, and and copy and paste and manipulate it so that it does what we want it to do all right so we're going to start off with our crowd all right so we're gonna go to crowd for hopper team that's what we want to do and it says you will need to copy the code for the blue team above and then change where they will stand change the name to dot hopper and change the direction they will face uh, so let's go ahead and get this so here's crowd for blue team i'm going to grab the for loop by tapping on four i'm gonna hit copy the other thing you can do is if you want to just select it and go like this uh, this will work as well. Just you need to make sure you get this last brace, um, which is why I like to get do it this way. All right. So placing that down here in a free line of code, paste, and then make sure that it's it's color. If you put it back here, uh, it will comment out. Um, so we've got this. Let's go ahead and take a look at everything that it means. Um, so for a coordinate cut. In all coordinates, if coordinate column is less than or equal to 2. So less than or equal to 2 means 2, 1, and 0. So that is from 2 to the left. So we need this to start at 9 and go to the right. Right is greater than or equal to. So we're going to change in our crowd for our hopper team. All right, We're going to change it to greater than or equal to, and we want it to start at 9 greater than or equal to nine. Change where they will stand. They will start at nine, they will start at nine and then go nine, 10, 11. Perfect. Okay, and then we need to change the name to dot hopper. So I'm gonna say, um, select dot blue. 
and I'm going to change it to dot H O P P E R. Okay. And that will put these people as hopper and not blues. And then finally, these blues are facing right or east. We want our hoppers to face left and on our map that is west. All right, so you can type it in or wait for the um, quick keys or whatever they're called to pop up for the block code. All right, and that should be it. So if we look at our blues code right here, it's less than or equal to two, which like we said is two, zero, and one. Name is blue facing east. So blues will go in all of the rows in columns or all of our columns, well, zero, one, and two, they will face the east and they will be blue. For our hoppers, they will be at column nine, 10, and 11. They will be hoppers and they will be facing west or left. And there they are. All right, great. So that is our first part. Next, we are going to see, okay, this is the code for our front goal, all right? Uh, and this one, you may want to get rid of some of these unnecessary uh, spaces or lines of code, or you can leave it as is. Doesn't really matter, okay? But if you think about it, we want this exact same thing, this exact same set of uprights, okay? So this first one shows us, okay, it's a, zero and it places them at four, five, six, and seven. So four through seven. Um, and it's gonna play of six uh, or off the ground, all right? So we want that. And then this for loop is our left upright. And this for loop is our right upright. So that's what we're gonna wanna grab. We're gonna wanna grab everything from front goal. And I'm gonna go ahead and just use dash select. So I tap beside it and we're gonna hit select and I'm gonna take it all the way to this for loop. And I want this four in loop, so four coordinate in all coordinates, I want that one. I want my one through four loop for four zero, and I want my one through four loop for my uh, seven zero. Make sure you get this last brace at the bottom. We're gonna tap and we're gonna copy, okay? And it says for the back goal, we will need to copy the code above for the goal um, and move this copy to row 11. All right, so like I said, we're gonna want the exact same thing as we had before. We want the exact same arrangement, things, all that stuff. We just need to move it to row 11. All right, so we've already got it copied. Let's change where it's, its location. Oops, sorry about that. Change its location. So four coordinate and all coordinates, we're here at our back goal. Uh, we're gonna change the zero to row 11. Everything else stays at 26 high. All right, we still want four of them, but we want it at row 11. So right here, we're gonna say, okay, at row, all right? Everything else is the same. All we changed was four coordinate and all coordinate, if coordinate dot row equals 11. Here, at column four, row 11. And here, at column seven, row 11. Sorry about that. All right, and there we have it. Our other back field goal uprights are up. Now, last thing we need to do is we need the people from Team Hopper. So let's scroll down a little bit more. Here are my blue team players, okay? And we are placing these a little bit different than what we've been placing things because we're placing them in specific locations. So if you know we've got world dot place the character, they're facing a direction, and then it's at column colon four, comma row colon four. 
All right, so that's four, four, which is, we'll zoom in a little bit, which is that guy right there. All right, now I don't wanna copy and paste all of these because I've gotta to change too much. I'm gonna copy just the first one and we'll get that one set up, copy, and then we will roll with that. Now, um, we need to make a new line of code here because if it will still be in the comment. So we need to get out of the comment by hitting return. Uh, and I'm gonna paste that one line of code here. And we're gonna change this one so that our hopper character is right there at four six. So let's change our world.place character. And we're just gonna change the character name from dot blue to dot hopper. H O P P E R. So that will change what the character looks like. It'll change this instance. Um, we want them facing the opposite direction. So we're going to have them face south. You can type it out or hit one of the keys. And then I want them at four, six. So I'm going to place them at four, six. Copy and paste that so that all will need to change the location. So copy here and then paste our at four, six. And I think I'm just gonna kind of set it up. Uh, four, six, 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 and then like a linebacker and a safety. So we're at four, six. I'm gonna change this one to six, six. And then hit return turn a cup back here at five seven so and then hit return a couple times paste and then if that's at five seven I'll have one playing back at five nine And there we have it. There are our two crowds, are both of our field goals and both of our teams. Um, so, hope you had fun. Mine glitched out a few times, but uh, we were able to get to run after a little bit of playing around with it. So, we will play with this same thing on the next one. One neat thing that you can do. Um, with all these comments and stuff like that, uh, you can go select all, copy it, and then go into your notes and write a new note and paste it right in there. And then you'll have it. Okay, so I've got lots of notes here with things that I have built or want to save for source code and all that stuff so that I don't have to rewrite everything. So there we go, hope you had fun. Uh, we'll see you on the next one. Love you. Bye.